Kim Kardashian had a heated confrontation with Chloe after Chloe criticized her for being a neglectful mother. Chloe insinuated that Kim prioritizes her fame and fortune over her children, even suggesting that Kim is an absentee parent. Many have already been critical of Kim's parenting, pointing out that her children are the least well-behaved among her sisters. However, seeing Chloe call Kim out on national TV was unexpected. Apparently, Chloe has been taking on the responsibility of caring for Kim's kids for years, as Kim is often absent, leaving the child care to a slew of nannies who struggle to manage her unruly children. It's unclear why Chloe chose to reveal this information now, but she didn't hold back, expressing her frustrations openly. As previously mentioned, Kim's parenting abilities have been under scrutiny by many for a considerable time. The controversy began when people started noticing how North's behavior compared to her cousins. Specifically, North was being compared to Stormy, with many saying Stormy's well-mannered demeanor is a result of Kylie's attentive parenting, whereas North often acts out because Kim is rarely around to discipline her. In an interview with Kelly and Ryan, Kim herself admitted that North harbors a strong dislike for her brother, saying she would often go out of her way to be mean to him and make him miserable. Initially, Kim believed that North's antagonism towards Saint was just a phase and that she would eventually grow out of it, as many siblings do. However, as they continue to grow, Kim is starting to think it might be more than just a phase. From the way Kim discussed the issue, it was evident that she felt powerless and unsure sure of how to address the situation. What about, so, North and Saint, how are they, in terms of their dynamic, versus the way you girls were uh, growing up? I know it's so different. different genders, so but different. how different? I mean, I, I don't know if it's because she's the older sister, and she, I, I don't know what it is. I thought it was a phase. She does not like her brother. It's so <laughs> hard for me, and I thought it was like, okay, a couple months, like, you know, she's just warming up to it. She gets so jealous, you know, when I would breastfeed and all that kind of stuff. The allegations of bad parenting resurfaced after a viral video showed North being mean to Chloe's daughter, True. The incident occurred when North was asked to sing Happy Birthday to True, but instead of being kind, she seemingly insulted True's new age. Birthday. We love Happy you! Birthday. Ooh, all four years old. Four sucks. The video quickly spread online, reigniting criticism of Kim's parenting skills. Why don't you want what? No what? No pictures. Why? Oh. Oh, the poor child likely expected a sweet birthday wish from her older cousin, but instead she was met with an insult. Unfortunately, this incident is just part of a long pattern of Kim's kids acting out. Another video that went viral showed North being disrespectful to Kim. In this clip, Kim was attempting to take photos of North, but North kept yelling at her. Kim was visibly shocked by her daughter's behavior and tried to regain control by asking North why she didn't want to take the pictures, but North just continued to holler. A similar situation occurred when North was caught screaming at the paparazzi, telling them not to take any pictures of her. Many people sided with North, believing she had every right to express her frustration about the intrusive flashing lights. Critics argued that it's Kim's responsibility as a parent to listen to her daughter and manage the situation but she appeared indifferent and failed to step in. But this isn't even the worst of it. During an episode of Keeping Up with the Kardashians, Kim revealed some very disturbing information. North had attempted to bite her nanny. She did oh, like, also, over the by weekend, the way. But I you know, will again. North tried to bite my nanny and said, I don't want a nanny anymore, you can go home. The poor nanny was simply trying to do her job and ended up dealing with North's attempts to physically harm her. But it gets even worse. People have also criticized Kim for allowing North to frequently mock her. One notable instance was during an interview with Ellen, where Kim admitted that North tries to hurt her feelings by calling their house ugly. Kim explained that North uses this tactic because she knows how much the house means to her, revealing a troubling pattern of manipulation from such a young child. What's the meanest thing your child has said to you, every time I get into some kind of disagreement with my daughter North, she thinks this is a dig to me and she'll say, your house is so ugly, it's all white, who lives like this? She just thinks it like gets to me and it is kind of mean. 
because I like my house. Initially, many people believed North was simply a spoiled brat, acting out because everything was handed to her on a silver platter. However, the true reason behind Kim's kids' poor behavior seems to be Kim's lack of dedication to actually caring for them. This revelation came during a heated argument between Kim and Chloe, after Kim confronted Chloe about questioning her parenting skills. Apparently, Kim sent her daughter Chicago and her other kids to Chris's place to get ready for school because she was too busy to handle it herself. In a recent episode of The Kardashians, tensions between Kim and Khloe Kardashian reached a boiling point. Kim was caught body shaming Khloe, calling her fat and ugly, and even comparing her to a movie character who's so overweight he can't leave his house. You need to live your life. Wow. You have the world at your fingertips, but you won't go see the world. You won't let yourself go out there to find someone or even like a group of friends. It's like the whale. The guy won't leave his house because he's, you know. I'm Brandon Fraser. I'm just saying, I don't know why that came to mind. That's a low blow, even by reality TV standards. But it didn't stop there. Kim also advised Chloe against spending too much time with her kids, claiming it could lead to mental illness. You just Who need knows? to get away from your kids for what a pure getaway, not dinner FaceTiming them walking and showing them a house tour. Chloe, who has been open about her struggles with body image and self-esteem, certainly didn't need this kind of negative commentary from her own sister. Chloe is unbearable these days. Chloe's not coming. And honestly, she's just not feeling it. When you're not feeling it, there's nothing that could force you to come and have a good time. Like, you will just be miserable. I'm not in the mood to deal. Tensions reached a boiling point in the Kardashian-Jenner household as Kim Kardashian unleashed a shocking revelation during a heated argument with her sister, Chloe. In a moment of raw emotion, Kim lashed out at Chloe, declaring that she is not a true Kardashian and questioning her paternity. Kim's words cut deep as she called into question Chloe's biological connection to the Kardashian lineage suggesting that her father may not be Robert Kardashian. Chloe, visibly shaken and frustrated by the accusation, was left reeling from Kim's revelation. The revelation has reignited long-standing rumors and speculations surrounding Chloe's paternity, with fans dissecting past episodes and interviews for clues. You can sense the feeling of guilt on Chris's end, and you can tell she knows that her own personal infidelity has affected Chloe the most because this is what added fuel to the paternity scandal fire. Chris has tried to make this right for a few years now, urging Chloe to do a paternity test to put the rumors to bed once and for all. Chloe has refused and claims that she doesn't care what people think, and that in her eyes, Robert Kardashian is and always will be her friend. My dad is Robert Kardashian. My other dad is Bruce Jenner. If you f other people during the same time you do not know, go on Maury. Like, I don't care. While everyone has the right to do as they please, fans have speculated that Chloe's resistance to doing a DNA test was so that she wouldn't find out that she wasn't really a Kardashian. I mean, it could have put to rest the speculation of Chloe's biological dad, which let us tell you there is no shortage of candidates on this list. Most notably, people have speculated that Chloe's biological father is either Alex Rolden or OJ Simpson. Alex Rolden was Kris Jenner's hairstylist for many years and was close to the family. Some fans believe that Alex and Chloe look freakishly alike, and he's also much taller than the late Robert Kardashian, who was only 5'7", which could explain where Chloe got her height from. However, Robert Kardashian Jr. is 6'1", which does make him taller than both of his parents, so really these claims are just circumstantial. At one point, Kylie Jenner posted a photo of Chloe and Alex on Instagram with a caption, first official photo of my sister and her dad, like father, like daughter, which was clearly meant to be a joke because momager Chris would have shut it down immediately if there were any truth behind the claim. There have also been many claims that Khloe Kardashian's real dad is O.J. Simpson. For context, O.J. Simpson and Robert Kardashian met back in 1967 and reconnected through a mutual friend when Robert was a lawyer and O.J. was playing for the Buffalo Bills. Chris met O.J. through Robert and became really good friends with O.J.'s second wife, Nicole Brown. The two couples were extremely close and the kids even called him Uncle O.J. There have been rumors that Chris and O.J. were more than just friends and may have passed the point of friendship around when Chloe was conceived. Some fans think that Chloe has resemblance to O.J., and some fans have pointed out that her daughter True also looks like O.J. Some fans think that Chloe Kardashian looks just like O.J. Simpson's daughter, Sydney. When O.J. Simpson The Lost Confession premiered on Fox back in March, 
fans couldn't help but notice the resemblance she shares with Chloe. Fans were pretty much convinced that Chloe and Sydney were siblings after watching the special. One fan posted this on Instagram. So, I just watched Did OJ Confess on Fox. OJ, not only in these streets looking extra crazy, but I a thousand percent believe that Khloe Kardashian is his daughter because her and Sydney Simpson, pre-surgery, look like twins. However, some fans are refuting this theory because of Chris and OJ close friendship. Would Chris really cross that boundary and betray a friend like that? OJ himself has also refuted the rumors and says anyone who thinks otherwise is wrong. At one point, OJ's manager Norman Pardro claimed that OJ and Chris had an affair, but OJ claimed that Norman wasn't even his manager at the time when he made this false claim. Another person who tried to shift this narrative was Robert's second wife, Ellen. Ellen claimed that Robert believed that he wasn't Chloe's biological father and confessed this right before he passed from pancreatic cancer. Many people thought that Ellen was making this because these statements were made shortly after Ellen declared bankruptcy. Meanwhile, Chris has tried to make this right multiple times. She even convinced all of the Kardashian-Jenner kids to do a 23andMe DNA test to find out more about their backgrounds. When they were reviewing their test results, Chloe confirms that she has Middle Eastern DNA, which would confirm that she got this DNA from her father, Robert Kardashian, who is Armenian American? You Clomo. 58% Euro, 41.6 Middle Eastern. You are my sister! Oh my god, we are sisters. Oh, and then I'm 1%. Thank god, if you weren't Middle Eastern at all, we would be in trouble. <laughs> However, Chris called Chloe to take over, and Chloe discovered that Chicago's hair was a mess, overloaded with product. Chloe decided to inform Kim and asked if she was allowed to fix Chicago's hair. This somehow infuriated Kim, who accuses Chloe of judging her parenting skills, implying that Chloe thought she was a better mother. It's unclear why Kim jumped to the conclusion that Chloe was judging her when all she did was ask if she could fix Chicago's hair. It seemed like Kim was projecting her own insecurities onto Chloe. As expected, Chloe was not having any of it and promptly put Kim at her place. People weren't here for this at all, and they really went in on Kim. Many believe that Kim is starting to understand she didn't do the best job raising her kids, and now she's looking for someone to blame. One person commented that Chloe nailed it, saying it was entirely Kim's problem. This sort of thing happens all the time people go through stuff, blow other issues out of proportion, and then refused to take responsibility. Kudos to Chloe for stopping Kim in her tracks and highlighting where the real issue lay. Another commenter said, Chloe, you're right because I'm not about to let you come at me over your own mom guilt. Parent guilt is normal, but at the end of the day, you're providing for your family. Go talk to a therapist and leave me out of it. Love you, but I've got to take care of my own kids now. Now, I want to hear your opinions. What do you all think about Chloe calling out Kim on her parenting skills? Do you think Kim is truly a bad mom? You know what to do. Share your thoughts in the comments comment section below, and don't forget to click here to watch this other incredibly messy video.